Navy SEAL sick of porch pirates builds the perfect trap. Every time he went outside and checked the porch just to find that someone had helped themselves, he got a little more wound up inside. His hard-earned money was going down the drain and he'd had enough of it. Until, one day, he heard a loud bang and a scream. He sat back and cracked a slow, satisfied smile. In the US, a third of all packages delivered to residential homes never reach their recipients. And it's not because of the faulty postal service or unscrupulous vendors. No, it's because of greedy porch pirates who just can't resist the temptation of a package sitting unattended on a hard-working man's porch. Well, Arthur Russell was sick and tired of it. Now, Arthur wasn't an unreasonable man. In fact, he prided himself on the self-discipline he had mastered during his time on the force. He was humble and had worked hard for everything he had only for someone else to audaciously take his things like they were owed to them. The first time it happened, Arthur was angry. The second, third, and fourth time, he saw Red. From small items like toilet paper to expensive Jeep automotive parts, the brazen bandits had stolen it all from him while he was at work. Arthur had tried to take the high road by reporting the thefts to the police, but they weren't interested in his problem. Fuming over his losses, he decided to take matters into his own hands. After multiple calls to the police and getting no joy, Arthur got to work to create the ultimate revenge box. The next person who decided to go sidewalk shopping with a five-finger discount on his porch would have another thing coming. You see, unfortunately for them, Arthur had a unique set of skills and a rather unusual hobby. Arthur is a former Navy SEAL, specializing in unconventional warfare. To carry out dangerous missions, he had undergone grueling training both physical and mental. This had left him with a hardened mind that ran on calculation and determination. In his spare time, he also enjoyed building booby traps. When the porch pirates messed with Arthur, they didn't know that they were creating a perfect storm. He started to build a very complicated box. But after some time he decided he wanted a simpler approach. The trap had a snare that she modified to almost be like a Chinese finger trap. But he wasn't happy with the result. He wanted more but in a different way. He wanted the thief to regret ever crossing him. I was thinking, how could I scare them and make them drop my package and then never come to my front porch again, Arthur recalls. He thought about it long and hard. His number one goal was to give them the fright of their life but not hurt them in any way. The cops would only complicate things. He drew draft after draft until he felt that it was perfect. He took out the snares and opted for something more explosive. He scrapped the original idea entirely and started working on a new idea. After writing lists of what he could do, it dawned on him. He'd just have to rig it correctly so no one got hurt. Arthur made a list of supplies and went into the hardware store to get everything that he had to put into this revenge box. As he left he felt like the cashier was watching him did they suspect what he was doing? He understood how it probably looked, but why would he care? He didn't have to explain anything to them, and they could make any assumptions they liked, even if they turned out to be true. Arthur spent the rest of the day putting together his device and making a box look like an official goods package. When Arthur finished, he stood back and looked at his masterpiece with delight. He took it to his backyard for a test drive and laughed in excitement when it did just what he engineered it to. He tested it again, this time covering his ears. The first one left them ringing. He tested it over and over again to make sure it was reliable. And it was. There was just one more piece left to make it all come together. Arthur got in the car and drove to the nearest store to get a security camera. There was no escaping him now. Arthur returned home and installed a doorbell cam so that he could see the thief's face while he was at work. The footage didn't disappoint. Now, all that was left to do was lay down his trap and wait. Just as he expected, he didn't have to wait very long. That evening as he sat on his couch, he caught his first victim. The doorbell cam shows the unsuspecting victim audaciously strolling right up to Arthur's front door. Arthur watched eagerly from his phone. He was sitting on the edge of the seat. He couldn't believe that a thief could look so casual before committing a crime. To his surprise, it's a woman. Arthur watches in amazement as the woman approaches. She goes to ring the doorbell to check if anyone is home but is spooked by the motion sensor light. She walks away from the door. Then Arthur notices a getaway vehicle in the background. The man inside eggs her on, telling her to turn around. With the person waiting in the getaway car growing impatient, the woman goes back to the house, takes a last look around, and grabs the package, boom. The woman screams and runs back to the getaway car so fast that Arthur ends up with her cell phone. Poetic justice. He sits back and smirks. What had he done? Arthur's box is genius in its simplicity. The box contains a plate that holds back a firing pin, which is connected to a string that's secured to his doorknob. When the box is lifted or pulled, the plate moves enough to allow the firing pin to set off a 12-gauge shotgun blank. But was it legal? State law forbids anyone from assembling explosive devices without a valid license. 
even though it's a blank, the way the device is made, is actually illegal said police spokeswoman, Loretta Cool. The police don't think that Arthur's boombox was a good idea at all. If the would-be package thief is hurt in any way, the homeowner would be responsible, she continued. Even more than him crossing the line, I'm not sure if people realize that, even though this person is stealing something, he can't intentionally set them up to be hurt, Cool explained. She also said that Arthur's man trap could also be a crime itself. But it would be up to the porch pirates to lay criminal charges, something that hasn't been done. Although the box is terrifying, Arthur says it's perfectly safe. He told reporters that he's tested it dozens of times, and he even tested it with a ripe tomato inside. It never hurt me once, he explained in an interview. It didn't hurt the tomato in there either. And the contraption has lured more than one thief. Arthur did suggest however, that if anyone was to copy his idea, they might want to cover their backs first, for legal reasons. He learned that it was best to tack up a no trespassing sign and taping a beware note to the box, warning people not to move packages from the porch. That can protect the homeowner from lawsuits, and Arthur knew that. The involvement of the cops and the legal discussions around his ploy may have deterred some people from pursuing it further, but Arthur was different. There was no way he was going to stop what he was doing. Especially when he was catching criminals red-handed trying to steal from him. He was also confident it was completely safe. And time and time again, his device proved effective. Arthur set his trap once again, hoping to teach another thief a lesson. Just a few days later, he caught one. Everything went exactly to plan once more. The man sees the porch, runs up to grab the package, and boom. I know it's crude, but there's nothing scarier than a 12-gauge, a satisfied Arthur quipped. Although the police aren't pleased with Arthur's boombox, they did start to take his complaints more seriously. After all, his invention has caught a whopping 20 would-be thieves. All the cops had to do was search for the individuals on his camera. Although Arthur does admit that his solution isn't perfect, he says it offers something others don't. The unparalleled satisfied feeling of watching a thief run terrified off your lawn. Arthur and the cops were even able to track down some porch pirates from the door cam footage after they scurried away. As long as the thieves keep deciding that Arthur's porch is easy pickings, the boombox will stay there.